even better, but that extremely likely with a team that train here in Enya, Katarina Mrazkova and Daniel Mrazek. 105.43 personal best in the Czech skate. Watch for the speed of the power, the change of directions, the skating skills. It's beyond as they skate to the man in the iron mask. coverage really remarkable. You have to be in the ring to see it. It's just extraordinary. I've watched skating all my life, been in the sport all my life, and it's not just about the speed, of course, we know that, but we are talking about it because it's extraordinary to see a junior team move that fast. Having said that, and this is a wonderful performance, it's a wonderful program, absolutely outstanding. There's some other really good compositions as well, but no one, at least yet, in juniors 
skates at that speed and that intensity throughout the program. And you can see they leave nothing on the ice. Their fuel tank, their gas tank is empty <laughs> coming off because they've used it all in that program. Pretty amazing stuff, that's for sure. As they greet Mateo Zani coming off the ice. Both single skaters, I'm going to ask them that in the interview. I want to know a little bit about that transition from singles to dance. Let's take a look here. The intensity of the program right off the top. They will be gunning down for the world record for the junior free dance, having already secured the world record for the rhythm dance. And so intense to start for the man in the iron mask free dance. <laughs> Well, their personal best is 105.43, looking to beat that here. And not only do they have incredible power and speed and flow, but that is born from a good quality of skating skill, fundamentally mindful of the way that the blade leaves the ice, and the edge set that they have on each stroke. As we look at their one foot turns, and. They're choosing to do a back outside counter, that a little bit more difficult, rotating in a clockwise direction within the twizzles, not choosing the easiest combinations of turns within that, but done incredibly well. And Mark, see the what, curve lift. what is also amazing is you could not say one, one of them is stronger skater than the other. They're absolutely equal in the depth of edge and the power and the ice coverage that they carry, and that's what makes them so unique. Look at the unison. They're never out of step because they have the same amount of power and speed and edge depth. Yeah, completely. And you wonder if maybe the brother and sister sibling notion motivates them both to be a positive, healthy competition between them, perhaps. But in the interview after their win in Estrava, Daniel was just saying he couldn't believe that two years after he competed at the Junior Grand Prix there as a single skater, he was there now with his sister and intimated that they were Ice dance partners and best friends as well. And that's got to be a recipe for success. Yeah, who would have known? You know, really, yeah. you never know the pathway your life will lead you. And there they were, brother and sister, doing their own thing. And then all of a sudden, look where they are together here now. Well, they're looking to beat a 105.43. They may not do that here, but certainly they'll have enough. We'll take the gold. Second time, uh, 101.13, of course, that's first. And the free dance of the total cup will score 173 points as they take their second gold medal in the Junior Grand Prix. <laughs> they wanted more, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at that. Uh, are those numbers wrong, or are they right? <laughs> yeah, they want more, but that's what Mateo...